Hey, this is Tommy Victor from Prong, and you're colliding with Yell Magazine. With 11 studio albums, Prong's catalog is, is pretty deep. How do you keep things fresh and, and inspired? It's very challenging to do that. I don't know how I've been able to do it. I mean, we just recorded a new record that's coming out July 28th called Zero Days. And um, essentially, I got off a tour in Europe and I got in my room. We were, I was talking about my room with these guys earlier. And I just had to start writing and... Uh, I guess if I'm out on the road and I'm playing guitar a lot, then you know I I I seem to see what not to do. I, I try not to copy myself, so uh, I'm able to have a, a bunch of riffs that I can start out with. And uh, but I got to get off my you know my butt and do it. I mean it's uh, and then the the whole the, the lyric part of it is a whole other challenge. Uh, I have to prepare myself for it. Like, I had to do a lot of reading, uh, stay in touch with the news, uh, do some meditation, do some walks, uh, and have, a, like, an entourage of friends, have some conversations, stimulate writing mind. And that's a whole separate thing. I mean, I, I, I take a lot of pride in the lyrics and what the songs are about and no one really knows what they're about but I do but and so, so uh, yeah I mean uh, I'm always thinking and there's always something uh, that comes around that's stimulating but you have to be put yourself in the, the situation to be stimulated since you mentioned the news uh, depending on who you are today's climate is pretty exciting and oh yeah and, I mean, inspirational. inspirational lyrics I mean yeah I mean there was there was you know I usually don't get that heavily political in the lyrics. I mean, no absolutes had a little tinges of it. And what I do is like I, I take like a, like a box and I'll throw a little bit of politics with spirituality and, uh, and punk rock mentality into this collage and, and that's what the lyrics seem to come out like. And that's makes it prong, that makes it different. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, but obviously, like you said, there's been a lot to, to pick and choose from. But it's all fake news anyhow, so it's all... It's true. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I mean, I mean, this is a Canadian show, I, or... Website. Website. Yeah. So, um, I, don't, I don't know how slanted the news is up here, but it's unbelievable in America where you, you just from the change of channels, you just get a completely different perspective on everything. And it's all paid off by somebody. It's like somebody's putting these knuckleheads on television to say th what the advertisers want and who's the people with the money behind it or, or want to get their agendas across. It's an absolute joke. I can't say anything more. Yeah. I mean, that's a stimulus <laughs> for a lot of the lyrics right there. So, yeah. you know... Uh, like on, on No Absolutes, we have this song, which is the last record, when we played the song tonight, Cut and Dry, is about that. It's like, you know, uh, you know, you're told something, and then you believe it, and then something happens that's contrary to your belief, and then you're like, well, what happened? I was like, well, you're an idiot. You listened to this nonsense to begin with. I wonder if it's a political lyric. I didn't take it that way, but one of my favorite lyrics on the new album is, I'll have to paraphrase because I can't remember it exactly, but uh, about trapping yourself in your own anger and, and being stuck in a box yeah I mean like I think it's from like no absolutes uh, yeah I, I, people put this label on themselves like I, I sort of got that idea I was like like I said I was like I sit around and I have like social engagements with people and they're like you know and people are like well I'm you know I'm an actually a very open-minded person and uh, I'm like that's a pretty definitive definition of yourself and uh you know, I, is that really true? And I mean, people are into labels and <clears throat> box label. So, um, uh, you know, I mean, I do it. I'm not, I mean, I, 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 I try not to because then if you're boxing yourself up, then but there's no more excitement in life. It's like, you know, you're just, you know, there's nothing new. Uh, 
you know, I, I like to have my mind changed. I like to, you know, think that, you know, people could, you know, that I can compromise somewhat, you know, uh, but people like to divide and, you know, put themselves in this, label themselves, that's what they are, and, you know, and that's it, so. With the prong sound, there's a lot of different elements, as you, as you mentioned, there's the, the, the punk rock, but I find um, my favorite stuff is the primal stuff it touches me in a in a primal way um with with the the bass the bass lines and the the crushing riffs and 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 stuff like that um is that your comfort zone as a as a writer i don't know it's it, it, that that's it's always changing a lot i mean the riffs obviously is it has a big part of what's going on and uh, and the grooves exactly. so uh, uh we started out as like a post-punk hardcore band, noise hardcore punk band, and uh, we got a little tired of that and uh, sort of stumbled on this or, or this concept of groove metal, and uh, which is uh, based on a lot of different bands that we like, and it, it, it is a formula that Prong continues to have in all the records, along with you know, stepping out of that a little bit and, you know, there's sort of a ballad on the last record and uh, there's some more thrash metal stuff on the last record too, which goes back into some certain roots of us. So, you know, we you know we have the groove metal. That's really, I don't know if it's a comfort zone, but that's essentially, you know, the, the main uh, axis of prong. Okay. Okay. And then it's been about five years since breaking from your last hiatus right and you've put out four albums in five years mm -hmm. um where's that coming from is, is there like a sense of urgency within yourself to express or uh it's a little bit because of the climate of the music industry and because of the hiatuses so uh i feel that you know artists today have to be constantly on the move at a quicker rate than we used to, uh, because of attention levels and you know the amount of material that's out there. Uh, so to keep smashing people with new records, I mean, I, I think that's a cool thing, you know, just on 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 a you know on a on a conceptual mentality of what bands have to do these days. Uh, you know, from a management standpoint of what I think you have to do, and then. You know, we have a lot of, like, uh, amends to be made because uh, there was several periods, like you mentioned, where we didn't do anything, like where I was involved in other projects or I was just lazy. So uh, uh, I think there's a plethora of prong fans out there, and they're coming out of the woodworks now, uh, and they're like, because there's a lot of distrust in the band. Like, you know, people are like, oh, yeah, they put a record out now. Let's see if they do and know how, when the next one's going to be. So it's like, oh, they put another one out. Yeah, but let's see what they do. And, you know, so it, it takes a while for people. And then there's a lot of people that have no idea that we've been putting out records neither. So, you know, the more we put out, the more uh, and more frequently, the more people are going to uh, be back on board. And I'm sure they're excited to hear that there's another album yeah, coming I mean, out. It, it's... I mean, initially, I, 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 the idea of, of again, like getting off to, uh, a tour and going right back to work is something that, you know, I wasn't essentially looking forward to doing because I'd rather be at the pool or, you know, on the beach or something. But, you know, I couldn't do that, you know, I, I, because of just how driven we are to, uh, you know, make amends and to stay current and, and uh keep putting out records like I said along the lines of the concept that I was just talking about okay. and then through the years um, you've worked with some big names and some big names have cited prong as an influence like Trent Reznor and and Korn um, and you've worked with uh, Dan Zig, Rob Zombie, Ministry, Fear Factory um, is there anybody left that you dream about working with? Yeah I mean one of my big heroes is Jazz Coleman from Killing Joke and uh, I always say like you know if if, if anything happens to Jordy Walker, who's one of my favorite guitar players from Killing Joke, you know, I'd love to step in and just, you know, do that gig. That would be, that would be a lot of fun. A couple of years ago, we uh, interviewed Monty Pittman. Okay. Um, and I, I was blown away. I, I was amazed to learn that he uh, auditioned to play with Michael Jackson. 
Is there any pop artists that you would want to work with? I don't see why not. I, I mean, Monty's a much more well-rounded guitar player than I am, and like, like Monty's like a studied guy, and like he could probably probably play with anybody. Um, I'm sort of like like that. I mean, I, uh, uh, I had an opportunity to play with Peter Murphy, and uh, like a lot, some of the some of the Peter Murphy material. Like I said, like I could cut that, and then he got into like this more world music, and you know he was breaking into like this sort of like it was almost like Sting or something like, and I was like, I'm not gonna do this stuff, you know. So, uh, you know, prong is really essentially what I do, and I'm like, I'm I'm just like an angry punk rock, metal guitar player, and uh, you know that's pretty much it, really. I know you're touring the U.S. until May 20th or yes. something, I think, and then you're off to Europe um, and you're playing some festivals there. Can you talk about the upcoming tour and what's after that, after the summer? We're trying to get on a bunch of other tours. Uh, nothing solid right now. And, uh, you know, I personally would like to do another support tour or a package thing. Like, we're doing this Metal Maya thing that's uh, in, uh, in Cancun. Uh in August, or is it? I don't even know when the hell it is, but look it up. It's this Metal Maya thing. It's, it's with Anthrax and Overkill, uh, Prong, Death Angel, Superjoint, uh, Crowbar. Uh, yeah, so it's 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 in a resort in Cancun. So, but I mean, before that, we're doing like all the major festivals this summer, uh, and and some. So we're from. June 18th to the end of August we're in Europe and we have headlining shows too so after that well I'm trying to like get these guys on the ball to see what we're doing after that I mean we got a new record coming out I gotta promote that and you know uh, when's that coming out July 28th it's called zero days and uh, that's coming out July 28th on E1 Steamhammer Records. 